In the previous lecture, guys, I showed you how to work with the keyframe editor. And you bring it up by clicking on the diamond over here. Now, let's reset everything. Okay. And then let's bring now the curve editor. You can bring up the curve editor by clicking on this rope here with two nuts. In fact, it's a curve with two keyframes. If you click on it, you bring in the curve editor. Now, here you have two options. The first one is to see the border and the transition curve or one of them. I'm going to remove the border and see only the transition curve. Here you are. And uh, of course, you have the keyframe navigator. Now, we have reset everything. So I'm going to select the last keyframe. So point on it and just select it. It turns red. You can make it an ease out now, a nice ease out. Click on it again. Make sure that when you're trying to select the keyframe, you have the four arrows. Notice, this is the four arrows for the keyframe. Here they are. And this is two arrows for the transition curve. And now I can use the handle just over here. Okay, so you can push it and make it, you know, with a very nice ease out. Here you are. Okay, I'm trying to fix it so it doesn't go out of here and you have some kind of distortion. You can also click on the curve and start moving it up and down the way you would like. Notice that you cannot move these two keyframes. You cannot decide, okay, this one I want it inside here. That's not possible because the transition has to complete and the transition has to start. But you can, of course, add very many keyframes. I will undo the last one, whatever I have done. And now I want to play the animation for this curve. Here you are. Very nice. Pretty cool, by the way, right? Let's stop it. Let's select our transition. I deselected it and add a border. Now notice when I add a border, the curve for the border has appeared. Actually, it's just a straight line because you can only put a single value. Now, if you play your animation, it has become really something beautiful. Okay. So you notice the effect of the curve here. Quite nice. Of course, it's up to you now to come and be extremely creative. Now, I will select the curve and add a new keyframe just to be very creative. And already I have some distortion here that I need to fix. For example, I bring it over here. Let's easy ease this keyframe better. If you come over here, you can use the handles. Okay, do something like this. I don't know, something you play with. And let's play now and try it if I've done something interesting. Not bad. It's okay. Not so good, in fact. Forget it. Okay, but the point is here that you can add keyframes and work on your curve the way you would like and make something very interesting. I recommend when you add a transition, come to the curve editor here, the transition curve, and then try to work it out so it becomes very smooth and exactly what you want. Now, it's easy to use the spiral, but when you play with the curve, it becomes your spiral, your style, and your technique. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture.